Hello students, good afternoon. In our last lecture, we had learned about directed numbers in which we had learned how to write the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of, uh, of numbers that is real, uh, that is whole numbers integers and fractions okay now in today's lecture we will see about square roots and cube roots so today's topic for our lecture is square roots and cube roots now First of all, we see what is the meaning of square of a number. A number which is multiplied by itself, we get the answer as its square. For example, 7 multiplied by 7, we get 49. That is square of 7. 13 multiplied by 13 we get 169 169 is square of 13 similarly 25 multiplied by 25 we get 625 that is square of 25 now we will see square root of a number here we have 625 in square root sign which we can write 25 into 25 okay so we can say 625 square root is equals to or we can say square root of 625 is 25 okay next number square root of 169 is equals to square root in square root 13 multiplied by 13 that is equals to 13 it means square root of root 169 is 13. Now, next concept that is cube of a number. When we multiply a number three times, that is, see here, 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9 equals to 729, means a number which is multiplied by thrice, we get cube of that number. Okay? After multiplying 9 three times, we get answer as 729. Similarly, when we multiply 11 three times, we get 1331 as a result. So we can say 729 is cube of 9, 1331 is cube of 11, okay? Now next concept that is cube root of a number, see here, cube root of 512 is equals to in bracket in square in cube root bracket 8 multiplied by 8 into 8 which we can write as 8 similarly in cube root bracket 729 equals to cube root 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9 which we can write 9 and similarly cube root 1331 equals to cube root of 
11 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 11 which is equals to 11 okay it means cube root of 512 is 8 cube root of 729 is 9 and cube root of 1331 is equals to 11 now we will see some examples estimate each root to the nearest whole number okay see here square root of 500 now we have to write as we know square of 22 is 484 and square of 23 is 529 that is see here 500 lies between 484 and 529 okay therefore here we can write root 500 is nearest to root 484 that is 22 okay 484 is nearest to 500 so we can write root 500 nearest to whole number that is 22 see here next example explain cube root of 700 is between 8 and 9 okay same procedure we have to follow here as we know cube of 8 is 512 and cube of 9 is 729 okay so cube root of 700 is in between cube root of 512 okay and cube root of 729 so we can write cube root of 512 is less than cube root of 700 and which is less than cube root of 729 okay therefore we can write 8 is less than cube root of 700 which is less than 9 understand which is proved now see here next example find square root of one, uh, 191 and find in which two numbers it belongs see here we know 12 square is equals to 12 into 12 which is equals to 144 13 square is equals to 13 into 13 which is equals to 169 and 14 square equals to 14 into 14 which is equals to 196 see here root 199 is in between 116 root uh, 169 and 196 so we can write root 169 is less than root 191 and which is also uh, which is less than root 196 that is we can write 13 is less than root 191 um, which is less than 14 next example cube root of 1125 that is 1125 so see here cube of 10 is 10 into 10 into 10 which is equals to 1000 cube of 11 is equals to 11 into 11 into 11 equals to 1331 so 1125 belongs is in between 1000 and 1300 okay 
so see here cube root of 1000 is less than cube root of 1125 and which is less than cube root of 1331 okay which is equals to cube root of 1000 is 10 which is less than cube root of 1125 and which is less than cube root of 1331 that is 11 okay I hope all of you understood the given concept of square roots and cube roots. Thank you.